Well, hello. Welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm always grateful. Thank you so much. I am going to do a Leo Love Prediction reading for July 29th through August 4th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know the energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else that's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humbled. I'm always honored and very grateful if you decide to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my fun, loyal, kind, sweet Leos, show me spirit guys. What's going on, my Leos, my loving Leos, my loyal Leos? Let's see. Show me what's going on, my Leo spirit guys. Let's see, Leos. Four of Cups. The Death card. Page of Wands. King of Wands and the Ace of Cups. Now, Leo, I'm going to tell you what I see with this reading. And, you know, it is what it is. I'm just going to actually, first thing that comes out is the Four of Cups. And it's next to this Death card. It's like you're refusing. Your ego has gotten in the way of something. Your ego has got, I'm just letting you know, because when I see the four of cups here and I see the death card, that means you won't change. You're refusing to change. You're, you want to do exactly what you want to do and you want to do it how you want to do it because you feel like what you're doing is right. But Leo, you got to think about this. If you love someone, if you love someone and they're asking you to compromise, my goodness, please compromise. If they're in your heart space, and it's extremely difficult these days to find someone to love that's sincere, that's honest. You've got someone, but here you are with this four of cups here in this death card. Death card can represent a Scorpio sun sign, but it's just saying you, you refuse to change. You want to do things your way. Your ego has gotten in the way of your love. Your ego has gotten in the way because in the middle of the reasons, reading is a page of wands. And the page of wands is about a learning, doing things, of those. I mean, that's what it's about. The Page of Wands is about, you know, it's also a free-spirited person possibly. But this person wants to do things that maybe you're not comfortable with doing. This person wants to do things that maybe you're not comfortable with doing. I'm just being very honest. Now, what's interesting to me is he's a King of Wands. Come on. He's, this is a King of Wands. Maybe, I don't know, maybe he wants you to learn how to scuba dive. I'm just... I, I'm just saying, maybe he wants you to learn how to, I don't know, Thai cook, how to, how something, something that you're refusing to compromise on, something that is, I'm not saying compromise on your non-negotiables. This is something that you need to learn. You just need to learn to compromise. It's not always your way. Move your ego out the way and compromise because he is your king of wands. And you know what, if you hear, hear my readings, my king of wands is my husband. He's your husband, Carter. If, you, if he's not your husband yet, he is someone that is definitely in the running to be your significant other. He's definitely in your love space in that capacity of being um, either your husband or your lover that is slated to be your husband. I mean, just a lover that's going to be a husband. Now, here's what's interesting. I see the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is about forgiveness. The Ace of Cups, and I strongly believe, you. hey, they're going to forgive you because... They understand. They understand that you have an ego, but still you have an ego, but your heart is even bigger. And that's why there, there's there's nothing but love with this reading. There's nothing below with the Ace of Cups there. That's love. That's love. That's that's um a God given love. That is forgiveness love. That is an agape, which is a God given love. There is nothing but love here for you and this person. But you have to remove your ego and learn how to compromise. Please, just compromise, Leo. Give me three to five minutes. Let me um, clarify the reading. Let me clarify the reading. Let's see what additional information Spirit Guides want you to know. Why is the Four of Cups here? Show me, Spirit Guides. Show me why the Four of Cups is here for my Leo. Show me, Spirit Guides. Let's 
strength card. The strength card is your card. Leo, you're showing up in your reading. You've got inner strength. We know you've got strength. You've got inner strength. Um, but you know, the strength card also means trying to get people to do what you want to do, trying to bring somebody in, trying to get somebody on the same page as you. But see, I personally think that with this strength card or this four of cups card, it's saying you're not doing that. You're not, you're not trying to compromise with the other person. That inner strength there is there. That strength is there. And the strength card, like I said, is trying to bring somebody in from the wild. It's trying to bring some. Look, if you're out there wilding out, if, if you are doing that, it is what it is. But if this person's here to love you and wants to be with you, if that's what the case is, you need to compromise and figure out how you can. Um, because let, let me say this. You know, the streets are the streets. The streets, you know what's out in the streets. But this is someone that's here to love you. This is someone that's here to forgive you. This is someone that's here for you. So you've got to figure out, because it's four of cups here, right? It's either you that want to be in the streets or it's him that wants to be in the streets. And I don't necessarily think it's him. I think that you are trying to do this. It, but let, let me say this to you. The streets are what they are, but you've got to figure out what you want to do. Because you're resistant to change here with this death card. That death card is there. And that death card means transformation, which can represent a Scorpio sun sign. But you're not transforming. You're not coming in. Whatever. You want to still be out there, possibly. I'm just going to be very honest with you. Maybe you still want to be out there doing what you do. And this person is looking to go a whole different direction. Because he's looking to be a husband. He's looking to build a family. That's what he's looking for. But maybe you're still... Hey, maybe you're not ready for this. So let's see why the death card is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the death card here for my Leo? Page of Swords. Okay. Page of Swords is about communication. It's about communication. And you're not listening, whoever this tra that's trying to communicate with you. With this Page of Swords here, you're not listening. It's just, you know, it's on and on and on. You're just doing what you want to do. Your ego has gotten in the way of your love. You're just not listening. You're not listening. Page of Swords is also about curiosity. Are you still curious? You want to be in the street still? I get it. I understand. Maybe you're not ready for them, but if so, let them go. Let them go if you're not ready. So let's see why the Page of Wands is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Page of Wands here for my Leos? Six of Swords. Well, Six of Swords means moving away. This means moving away from chaos. This person's not going to put up with too much too much more. It's you or him, one or the other. You guys are not going to put up with too much more of this craziness, this mess going on. Somebody wants to be out. Somebody wants to be in. Somebody wants to still, you know, you know, dip it and shake it and do what they do. And the other person's ready to settle down. That's what I think this is more than anything. Because that Six of Swords over this Page of Wands, which is this is Page of Wands, like I said, this is my card of learning new things, doing new things. Um, that's my card of learning, doing things, being a free spirit, all those things. Somebody's not looking just to party. Somebody's looking to grow and learn. So let's see why the King of Wands is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the King of Wands here? Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, there's that Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles, you know, that's my girl. Queen of Pentacles can be an earth sign. Uh, can be uh, a Leo, I mean, excuse me, a Virgo, Capricorn, or a Taurus. But that Queen of Pentacles, she's all about life and nurturing, being kind, um, taking care of family. But more than anything else, she also knows how to get her bag. She could be a CEO. She could own her own business. But when she come home, she's mama. She's that girl. When she comes home, she's, you know, she's, she's auntie. She's whomever. She's that girl. She's the girl next door that knows how to do, do everything that everybody loves. Very well respected in the community. And it's over this king of wands. This is what someone wants to build. It's what you want. This is what someone wants to build. Let me say, this is someone, like I said, if you're still out there dipping and dodging and doing what you're doing, not dodging, I shouldn't say that, but dipping it, playing, want to be still out, I understand. But this person is ready to settle down, and this is the kind of person he wants to settle down with, a queen of pentacles. That's what he wants. That's what he wants you to transform to, but you're, uh, you, he wants you to transform to that, to being that type of person. So let's see why this ace of cups is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Show me. Two of Swords. Well, you're still indecisive. You got to make a decision. Though. When you see that Two of Swords, you got to make a decision. 
It's either you're going to um, stay with this person and come in and begin to and compromise and build a family, or you're going to keep doing what you're doing, being out in the streets, having a good time, you know, because that's what you do. But the streets are the streets. They are what they are. So let's start at the very beginning, the Four of Cups. And here's the death card. You're not you're resistant to change. Your ego has gotten in the way of your changing. The strength card is here, which is which represents a Leo sun sign, but it's about inner strength. It's about your inner strength too. And it's also about, you know, this is about somebody that's this because it's over the four of cups, you're resistant to come in. You want to still dip and do it and you know be out there and you know, dip it. You you know what I'm saying. The streets still got you a little bit. But here is this like it's over the death card and the page of swords. And that's still like you still have curiosity of the streets. You still have curiosity that, you know, maybe you feel like there's something better out there. Really? Really? Maybe, but maybe that's what you feel. Because you're still going running to the streets. So here's the page of wands is here. There's no compromise here. But the page of wands is this is somebody who wants to grow. This is someone that wants to learn new things. Someone that is, uh, is sick and tired of, of the street life. They're ready to settle down. But here's the King of Wands. That's my husband card. Six of Swords is here, though. He wants to move away from this chaos, from the streets, from doing all of that. He wants a Queen of Pentacles woman as well. Someone that's, that, that, is, that is, like I said, could be has a bag. Queen of Pentacles always has a bag. Could be an Earth sign, like I said, a Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. But she's always got her bag. But more importantly, she's... She's mama at home. Regardless, she has her back, but she's mama at home. She does what she does. She is, um, she's that girl. She's just that girl. She's very well respected in the community. And that's what he's looking for. He's not looking for somebody who just wants to dip it and do it still and, you know, hang out in the streets. There's a decision to be made, though, and there's so much love here. Look at that Ace of Cups. He will forgive you. He will be there for you. He doesn't care. But you've got to make the decision. You've got a decision to make. With that two of swords. With that two of swords. And I strongly believe you're going to come in. Because I think your decision with this ace of cups here. Is yes. I, I'm coming in. I, I want to be with you. I do. I do. I think that's what you're going to say. So let's see. Because that ace of cups is about a God given love. A God paid love. Forgiving. All of that. You realize that he loves you. And you've made a decision. I strongly believe that it's going to be yes. Let's see what my oracles have to say. Show me spirit guys. Oh. Recovery. I'm going to pull that because I think this is recovery. Absolutely. This is recovery. I think you also see this is the opportunity for you to have a life rather than the streets. It says, yes, my cards. Oh, yes. Coming back to back. I told you. I told you. You're going to make the decision. You're, you're going to make the decision. You're going to a success. Uh, I'm also going to pull forgiveness because I think he has to forgive you for how you've walked and hurt him. I think you've hurt him, hurt him by 